NASA is holding a student competition right now, and one Long Beach Elementary School student is a semifinalist. NBC4's Makala Medina has her story. The sun, and then this is the Earth. Kiki Leone has got her planets down, and though she stands only about three feet tall, this pint sized first grader has big imagination. Welcome to my spacecraft, chicken, chicken fly. She's reading her essay that landed her as a NASA STEM semifinalist. It's an essay about exploring Saturn's moon Titan. My spacecraft is powered by NASA's radio pow powered systems. RPS is a nuclear battery that can last for 14 plus years. As we're coming into this totality of the eclipse, we wanted to highlight that when sunlight's not available, there are other options. NASA's Christian Jensen says that's why they wanted to have this competition for students from kindergarten to 12th grade, hoping to help educate them on radioisotopes and tap into their own creativity. She had literally one of the most creative essays that we've read. And I was astonished to find out she was only in the first grade. She's one of 45 semifinalists in three grade groups. Once we land on the lake, we will send our fishy bots. Kiki's grandmother says she's had a long fascination with science and engineering. She even dressed up as Rosie Revere from her favorite book during Read Across America last year. She's an engineer. I'm super proud of her. I'm happy and you know, I think that it's it's the beginning of uh, it's the beginning of the future. She's certainly a shining star in her dad's eyes, and she could be a winner come April 8th. That's when NASA will announce the finalists during the solar eclipse. The winner will get to head to NASA and see how radioisotopes work close up. Entrants like Kiki give NASA a lot of hope for the future. She has a bright future ahead of her. She wants to continue to do this. It's a dream for Kiki, who's pretty sure she'll work in space. Just not sure how. Maybe with puppies. Alien puppies. <laughs> like they're alien, but they're puppies. And then I could fix those little guys if they get hurt. After the semifinalists are announced at that eclipse April 8th, the winners will be announced on April 17th. In Long Beach, I'm Michael Medina, NBC4 News.